Hey guys, how's it going? All right. How's it going? How's it going? We're going to be doing something a little different today. So thanks for tuning in. For those who are going to be tuning in to... So we're going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to turn on because we're going to head over here. I know we worked on this yesterday. But we're going to head over here and we're going to work on something else that I am actually... I have a piece that is due to uh, go to a... Um, it's in an exhibit for uh, January and February. All the other artwork is there. And so this piece should have been there, but it's not. So we're going to work on this piece today. <laughs> yes, we're going to work on this piece today because I need to get this piece um, to where it needs to be today. Um, I definitely need to get it there tomorrow. So we're gonna, I'm going to bring you up on this uh, particular machine so that you can see what I'm doing over there. So let's go and put this in. Give me one second. And I'm going to put this in. You can see what I'm doing over here. Um, I'm going to bring up the picture and I'm going to bring, I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what I'm doing over here. And you'll see the piece that I'm working on. I think my finger is all in front of the camera. There it is. And so we're going to put it right here. And we're going to attach it. We could go through the attaching. Uh, 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 sorry about that. I put them on the series. Oh, no, she wants to make some noise. Siri wanted to make some noise. So you can see what I'm working on. I started working on this this morning. Um, but I want to make sure you guys get a good picture of it. I start working on this this morning, and what I'm trying to do, what I'm doing is I'm, um, I think I to make sure that they can um, the long way. So there we go. So you can see it's actually a mirror that I'm doing, and it actually has the quote from Malcolm X, and it talks about who taught you how to literally hate yourself. And that's what this piece is about. It's talking about who taught you to hate the color of your skin, who taught you to hate the texture of your hair. So it is a very profound piece. So I'm going to go ahead and um, make it larger so you can see it. There we go. There. So, and then I'm going to turn the camera around. So I want you to be able to see this better. Does that make it straight? I'm trying to turn it. Oops, I want to make it so it is not. I'm trying to turn the camera so you can see the whole thing. There we go. That's it. Okay, so as you can see, that's the whole piece. I'm going to move this around because I want you to be able to see the whole piece. And see what I'm doing. I think you can see the beams up in my ceiling. <laughs> you can see the beams up in my ceiling. Yes, you can see the beams in my ceiling. And I'm going to put these on so you can hear me a little better because I'm a little far from my microphone. So I'm going to turn my, um, I'm going to turn on my, did I do those? Okay. So hold on. Um, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna connect my air my air buds to this one. Okay. This one, and then that way you guys can hear me um, on my AirPods. There we go. Okay, so you can hear me on my AirPods, and that way I don't have to be standing so close to this particular piece. So what I'm going to do is, is we're going to work on this particular piece. I worked on it a little bit this morning. And um, like I said, this is actually going 
to a gallery in uh, in Kansas is actually this particular gallery is showing my um, we are still watching exhibit. It will be showing the we are still watching exhibit in Kansas from the month of January to the month of, through the month of February. And I really, really like this. And it says, who taught you to hate the color of your skin? And that's one of the reasons why I'm doing it in this beautiful dark brown color, as you can see. Who taught you to hate the color of your skin, the texture of your hair? So I'm gonna do some really nice hair texturing in there. Who taught you to hate the color of your skin? Skin to such an extent that you bleach to get like the white man who taught you to hate the shape of your nose and that's why I have these I have a nose in here it's a little hard to see the nose and the shape of your lips who taught you to hate yourself from the top of your head to the soles of your feet who taught you to hate your own kind um, it's just an amazing speech. It's a speech that he made. Oh, this one's coming up. That little piece. I've had this for a while. This is a speech he uh, made in Los Angeles in 1962, if you can believe that. 1962, um, he made this particular speech. I'm going to make sure I turn this volume all the way down there. So, so that's the, uh, it's, this is going to be really interesting to, um, to finish this piece up and then get it sent off to where it needs to be. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out. And if you have any comments, definitely just go ahead and put them in the comment section. Um, would love to hear from you. Always looking, you know, looking forward to hearing from you. Um, looking forward to hearing your thoughts, those kind of things as I'm working on this. And thank you so much for joining in, those of you that have joined in. What I've really had a lot of fun with is, you know, creating these uh, lips and just creating this piece. And I'll be honest, just like I told you about some of my other pieces, um, when I'm creating pieces, I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea how these pieces are going to turn out or what's going to uh, what's going to happen with them. I just start creating them and then I just let them form however they want. When I started this this morning, I had no idea of how um, these things were going to play out. And then all of a sudden, these eyes came, and these lips came, and these, the nose came, and all of these different things kind of showed up on their own. And that's the beauty of um, what I do. <laughs> I, I, I just love creating this way without um, being inhibited by what I have to do. I don't want to, I don't want to have to do anything. I don't want to have to do um, or have to paint or have to create in any particular kind of way. So this is the beauty of what I do is that I don't necessarily have to create in any particular manner. So, so like I said, if you have any questions or would just like to make a comment, um, that would be wonderful because I love to hear from you. I love to see when your comments pop up and if you want to ask me questions and things. It's always fun to have interaction. So if you have some, definitely chime in. I'm going to put this on here. There we go. And I love, these are so, this has been a lot of fun. And like I said, I started working on this this morning. I started working on this this morning <laughs> and I didn't want it to the thing is I didn't want it to be perfect that was not what I was going for and this particular piece I'm actually using um a lot of gouache because I want it somewhat of a flat look not um the usual uh shiny look that acrylic would leave me so I, I'm actually using a lot of gouache on this particular piece so um because I like um, gouache is a little bit of a, um, it doesn't have a sheen to it. So it's very flat. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to use uh, some gouache on this piece. And then I'm going to go in because I wanted to um, do a little bit that looks more like hair. So I'm going to come back in and do a little bit in here. 
um, to show some form of hair. But what I mean, the way I'm going to show the hair is I'm actually going to use a sponge. Give me one second. I'm going to use a sponge for texture. I'm going to use a, a sponge for texture. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I have these little sponges and I want to create some texture, um, like hair texture. So that's what I'm going to do right here. I'm going to do some texture. So that's what I'm going to come over here. And I want to, I want it to look more like a textured hair. And I'm going to do this because I want to see, yeah. So over here, I'm going to do like a textured hair. And you can see that. Um, I'm going to come back in and do like a nice little textured hair in there. Yeah, I like that. So you can see a nice little textured hair. And there we go. I'm going to put a little more black in that. A little more black in there. There we go. Yep. I'm going to do one more in that, one more over here. Yeah, see, there we go. And I'm not trying to get on the lips. I don't want to get it on the lips. So, um, so as you can see, I really like that. I'm going to put a little more black over here. A little more over there. There we go. So this is a fun one that I'm working on. And I'm going to still be working on the other one that I was working on yesterday. Yeah? Uh-huh. I'm here, Richard. OK. Yes, we're having NASCAR go. <laughs> so um, he just said, come on. I'm going to use a little more of this color right here, um, you know, because Every now and then we do like to add a little blonde to our look. So we're going to add a little of that. I know my sister is one that she adds a little bit of blonde to her look, which is nice. So I'm going to add a little bit of blonde to that. But as you can see, I really, really like um, what's going on with that one. There we go. And we got a nice little um, look there. And that's that real, real, real nice hair look, which is so much fun. And like I said, this particular piece is actually going to, um, going to be going to Kansas uh, this week. This actually this week, this coming week, it's going to Kansas. And that's the exciting part of that, um, that it'll be going to Kansas. So I'm really, really excited about sending that piece off to Kansas. Yes. So, oh yeah. And I'm actually having a lot of fun with um, all of the, that eye crane just blew me away. Kierkegaard is such a wonderful artist and teacher. Yeah. So a lot of, um, a lot of things that are going on today. We have a lot of things going on today. Um, da -da -da, does Karen have an email address? Nope, she does it. Um, yeah, I'm over here putting together some of the other, putting together some other things and having some other artists. Um, I'm still working on the creative quarantine as well as doing things over here. So, um, adding more to this. There we go. So I really like that. So I hope you like that. I hope you like what I've done with that. And then I'm going to add some more down here because I'm not quite sure how I want to go about doing that part. So we're going to take a break on this and we're going to come back and revisit it. And we're going to go set up on our other one so that we can work some more on the piece that we were working on yesterday because I want to work some more on that piece as well. And then we will come back over here and work some more on this piece. So we're going to go ahead and get set up over there so that I can do that. And then also I'm going to be working on, um, I've been, oh, I'll show you. I'll show you what I, else I've been doing. I started on some, hmm, the other thing I started on just recently. Let's go over here. 
I'm soaking. Look at you. Yeah, you can see the messiness of my studio. You can really see the messiness. So um, right here, I'm showing you. Can you see that? This is my sink. And I've been soaking some leather. So I'm soaking some leather because I'm going to, oh, I don't even know if you can see it. Hold on, let's see if I can point you down to it a little better. So I'm soaking some leather, that's leather. And I'm going to dry it, hold on, let me get that piece. But I'm going to be making some faces. Um, here, I'll show you. Okay, let's pick that up. Oop, we dropped something. We're gonna come back over here. Look at the messiness. Remember I said how messy my studio is. So, um, so actually I'm gonna be taking, um, taking this leather, I'm gonna mix it with some other things, some other items. And I'm actually going to uh, be forming faces and, and then I'm going to paint these. And then they're going to be painted. So these are some things that I'm gonna be working on. And um, within these, I'm going to create some faces and I'm gonna let them dry. Um, once I shape them the way I want to shape them, I'm going to let them dry. And then I'll be able to uh, do other things with them, do some other things with them. So here we go. I'm gonna shape that, get a nice shape going with that. There we go. And you see that's a nice little shape and then I'll create a face on that once I let this dry. And then I'll be attaching these to the wood. I'll be attaching these to some of the wood pieces that I'm doing. So these are gonna be a lot of fun. These are gonna be a lot of fun forming and shaping these. I'm gonna add some glue to the backs of them. I'm gonna do some glue on the back and I'm gonna let these dry. So that was just one shape that I was looking at. So there'll be several um, I'm going to play around with it to see what kind of shapes that I want to do because I'm sure there's just tons of shapes that I can do with the, the leather because I have lots of leather straps. And so I'm going to be doing some different things with them so that I can form some nice leather, um, different leather things with them. So, but we're going to go over and work a little bit more on our... I'm going to come over here and grab this easel. So I'm going to switch you back over to my other camera. So we're going to switch back over here. Okay. So we're going to switch back over here and we're going to add the other camera to this one. And that way we can work on, um, we can actually work on our other piece. I'm going to switch this out. And then that way, while I'm working on this camera, it's not, you guys are not bouncing around like balloons. So you're not gonna be bouncing around like a balloon as I switch this camera over, take it off of the base. And you can see I have tons of little cameras here and there, but I like having all of these cameras because they help me to set up, help me set up all this, help me set up everything. So. Let's get that set up for you. And then I can bring this over here like that. And now I'm all set up for you to see this other work that I'm working on. So and I'm gonna keep working on that one piece that we worked on yesterday. So I'm gonna bring this over. And I'm gonna bring this back over. So we're gonna work some more on this piece. There we go. So we're gonna work back some more on this piece right here. And then we're gonna switch the camera around so that you guys can see this piece up close and personal. There we go. Now we have a better view of this piece and what I'm doing on this piece. And as you can see, I was just continually filling in this morning. I filled in some more stuff this morning. So we're gonna work some more on this particular piece, getting it finished up and going back in and doing some more of that. And I think I, filled in all of the purple that I want to fill in. And so I'm going to work on some of the other colors and fill in some of the other colors as well. And like I said, this particular piece, we're going to do a lot more of the, um, we're going to gild it. So 
definitely want to work some more on that piece. Let's see. I'm over here looking at this. Wow. So. Okay. Uh, I don't think that qualifies as more than a couple of cars. That, that's like a gallon. <laughs> if I tried to drink one third of that thing, I would be buzzed the 24 hours free. It is. 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 Well, you know, I mean, I, I, I'm just, I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling. That's all. Uh, look, look, look what somebody just put on the screen. The mechanic with a raggedy car. <laughs> That's right. Me and my little raggedy car. I like my little. He probably has a bunch of them. Hi, y'all. How y'all doing today? <laughs> hey. Hey. I got them all back going, and we're going to talk about that a little later, but I love what Karen is doing, so I'm glad I got in to see her and, and her art. Okay. All right. It is not 21 degrees, Karen. Girl, we over here, it's like 60 or 40 or something. It's warm. What are, what are you in, sunny somewhere? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, back over here, and we are working on some more. You guys know every now and then I have to pop over on there on the Creative Quarantine site and see what they are up to because it's just fun over here. It's just fun over there. So I'm just going to put this over here because this is what I'm doing. So every now and then I have to pop over at the Queer Quarantine, see what they're up to, see what they're up to over there. And then I'm going to work some more over here, um, work a little bit more over here. I don't think I have to use that anymore, actually. Let's see, where are we? We're going to go ahead and click out of here. We're going to go ahead and click out of here. Because I don't have to be, um, I'm going to take this one off. I'm going to take this one off. And thank you guys so much for joining in with me. I am always excited to have you here watching and viewing what I do. And I'm trying to click out of this my other one where I was because I'm going to have to click into a different one. Um, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Okay, let me go this way. Let me go this way. And 
You don't want to click in because I've done that several times. Layout, private chat, cancel settings. Um, here we go. Leave out this way. So I just wanted to leave out of this particular. I wanted to leave out of this one because I was in that one. And then I'm going to pop in to a different one. I'll pop into a different one. So let's see. We're going to do some other colors now. Other colors. And then, um, and then we're going to sign out. Because I just wanted you guys to join me, and I'm happy that you have joined me. Well, I think I got two. I got some purple on that, which I don't really want to have purple on that. But I think I did get some purple on that. Purple. We don't want purple on that. We just want that to be blue. The blue of the water. There you go. So I'm gonna do some more in here. So let's get back in there. Do some more in there. And I'm gonna come in here. You can see. Go back in there a little bit. Yeah? Okay, here I come. So I'm going to go and eat some escargot, um, and I'll be back here in a little bit, but I'm going to finish adding color because I like adding this blue here into these spots, and then I'm going to go and have some escargot, and then I'll leave this open. I know it'll look like I'm doing nothing, but you'll be in my studio. It's my studio, so my studio will stay open for activity, <laughs> if you can call it that, activity or no activity, right? You probably say no activity, not activity. So I'll be back. I'm going to have something to eat, and then I'll come back and do some more. Ta-da! So I'm going to head it down the stairs because I'm going to have me some escargot. I'm going to get some tiny little forks. Tiny little forks. I'm going to grab them right here. That's why I came over here. So I can grab some tiny little forks so we can have some escargot. I'm not sure if the ones that were up there that were in here. They are missing. Let's see. I'm just going to. Have you tried them? I don't think he likes
Do you want me to make you a salad? No, a couple of them are. Huh? No, I put I. No, I put yours back. The ones you ate of it. I put the ones back you ate of it. Mm -hmm. Is there any more? Oh, okay. 
They're all gone. Timothy, these won't work over here. These won't work. It says here, it says, do you know up front if the face is male or female, or do you make them uh, genderless until they emerge? Thank <laughs> you. 
Now, Karen, I have a question for you. Karen, can you hear me? Karen, I have a question for you. Hey, Karen, I have a question for you. Now, I know with firing, so when you fire those, will you, um, and then you're putting all the, the hair and everything on, so those are thin enough when that uh, won't cause any air bubbles when you attach the head? No, no air bubble is a major problem if you allow your teeth to be dry properly. Mm -hmm. um, so what I do is um, either I'll Put it in the um, you'll put it in the kiln at 200. It's almost like putting it in the oven.
downstairs eating and just abandoned my area. But I'm hoping you were listening to the creative quarantine because I have that on too. I have the creative quarantine where some of the other artists are working. They're working on their pieces. And so I'm going to sit here and work some more on this. And thanks for joining in with me in the studio today. Thank you for coming and hanging out with Louise today. And let me know if you can't hear me because I did put this back on. Um, I did. Doing good today. Hi, how was that? I know y'all. Hey, Lorraine. How you doing, sweetie? I'm good. Good. You know, Karen, Karen Clark ain't playing. She's uh, building whole sculptures over I there. Know. It's amazing. Yeah. Karen's a beat. She's a beat. I told you that from the intro. I select my artist carefully. <laughs> yeah. All right, so what we're going to do is, like, Karen, we're going to come back to Karen. We're going to let her stay in the queue for a minute. I thought I was out with the love No, we still got you in. <laughs> I'll leave you in the, we're going to leave you in the studio. So just stay uh, just do your thing. We'll come back to you right now. LaShawn is the next person up. So, uh, LaShawn, go ahead. We're going to give you the floor for you. Okay, sounds great. Listen, I hope all y'all are doing well today. I, I am in working the continuum from yesterday, which is uh, in a lot of sketches that I did on uh, paper as well as chargers. So today I am going on that and I'm actually adding silver leaf to the pieces. These are uh, silver markers. It's going to be an outline for all the images. It's going to have a really interesting effect when, uh, when, it, when it's all said and done. So again, I work my work like a silly line. So I'll start at one, one area, like yesterday with all sketches. Today, I'm going in and doing this part of it. And either today or starting tomorrow, I'll start doing either the paintings or the whole pastel uh, on, on these pieces. These are going out, out to other arts, uh, for the most part, to do collaboration. So some are for artists that actually paint. Some are going to be for Coming back over here. Hey, guys. So you'll be hearing some of the creative quarantine in the background because I'm still um, working with them as well.
No. Well, uh, we're going to go to an hour on you to drink some. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I had some Cheetos over here somewhere. LaShawn, um, somebody wants to know how heavy is the piece? This is like, this is actually, uh, it's a plastic and it's been painted. It has a texture, a really, uh, really texture on it. So it'll pick up um, pastel or paint really, really good, give you a nice effect. So it's very lightweight. You can put this on a nice little metal easel or uh, or get a wall hanger and hang it on the wall, or frame it. I've been doing plates and chargers for Get over here, do some more painting. I know, it seems like it's just oh, not doing a lot. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom. Yeah. Do I have school tomorrow? Um, the school starts tomorrow? I don't know. I didn't get, um, I'll check my email. I don't think so. All right. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, me either. Mom's the white face. Huh? Where? His face is really white. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's just the way the face looks. I'm trying to make sure you can see what I'm doing. Like I said, I'm going to be gilding this. So once I finish putting down all these colors, I'm going to do a gilding. I'm going to gild the whole piece. I know I don't usually do a lot of talking when I'm painting, but I'm going to try to talk a little bit for you. Um, that's one of the reasons I have that on because you can still hear um, creative quarantine going on in the background. Um, and you, like I said, you can always um, go and watch creative quarantine on our Facebook page. That's the other page that I'm on. Um, I'll be doing some work on there a little later today. A little later today. So as you can see, I did all the purple. And now I'm going in and doing all the, I'm going in and doing all the blue. So I've done all the purple. Now I'm going in and I'm doing all the blue. So here, I'll turn this way. So I'm going in now and I'm going to be doing all the blue. And I'm going to take this hat off. <laughs> had that hat on since uh, earlier today when I went to church. So now I took the hat off. So, so now I'm going to go in and I'm finishing up the blue on this. I have a few more pieces, a few more blue spots down here. Hold on. And I like this. I like working with this camera. Let me undo. So you can see a little bit of what I'm doing down here. I'm doing down here. I don't know if you can see that. I don't know. I'll bring it down a little bit so you can see me doing that part. I'm going to finish up this lower part down here. So, this is another one. Really I'm going to do. I'm going to do that one down there. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. There we go. So you can see down here, I'm doing all of the blue. And I really like doing these colors. They're fun. I'm going to look at the, if I did all the ones that I wanted to. I got another blue. I got another one here. So sometimes you think you've done all of them, and then you look and you have it. So right here, this one hasn't been done at all. So I'm gonna do this one. And normally I have on my paint shirt, and I don't have it on. So I'll have to get my paint shirt. There we go. I think I need to do some purple. This is a purple one. I didn't get that. And I think this is a purple one. This is a purple one. Some of the purple ones are smooshed, so you can hardly see them. 
but I'm beginning to see there's a couple of purple ones I need to do. So I'm going to clean my brush out and grab my Now, I got a couple of purple ones that I still need to do right here. Let's see. Right there. See, these are the ones that are kind of smooshed. When you do these, you get some smooshed ones. You get some smooshed ones. Here, here, so some people are like to know why is. Mm-hmm. I got one right here, too. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to see that I've gotten all of the ones that I'm supposed to get. There's one. So, as you can see, I'm trying to get all of these done. Um, and some of them I had to change the color because I did different colors in them. There we go. I'm going to do this one. Oh, I see. And I think I didn't do, I didn't go over this one so much because the color is already in. So some of them I had to go back over the color because I didn't um, know what I wanted to do at first. And then all of a sudden I figured out what I wanted to do. And then I had to go back over colors because they were the wrong colors initially. There we go. Thank you. 
Hey, LaShawn. <laughs> so you're about to do some other things. I think Lorraine is up and ready to go um, for. LaShawn, I, Poncho, you're on mute. She all right, let's let Lorraine come on up, Lorraine. Looking forward to seeing what you got. Lorraine's muted. Okay. There we go. Uh, am I muted? Yeah, oh, you're okay now. Go ahead. Okay. I really enjoyed listening to Michelle. I mean, I learned something every time I hear his voice, and it talks about what he's doing. So I enjoyed waiting and getting out my lap. Uh, so, what I'm going to start with today is where I finished. I'm going to actually change today. Um, but yesterday, I had the underdrawing for this painting. Hopefully, you can see it. So my paint glasses. And I finished it this morning. So I wanted to do to see that, you know, it's really important to do an underpainting so that you know where the dark and highlights are. I also um, did this painting last start with another painting, which hopefully you can see this, um, of golden apples. And what I did with this painting is I, uh, um, All right, we have passed our time. We've passed our time here. Um, I like to do about an hour, and I know I've cheated some of the hour, but um, because I, I was downstairs for part of my hour, but forgive me for that. Um, it is Sunday, and so I have that's I do have to spend time with family, family with my kids and my husband, so um, sometimes that takes precedence over my desire to paint. <laughs> So there you go. Family takes precedence over my desire to paint. Let's do that. Um, make that a little darker in there. Let's see. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I will see you tomorrow.